Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a digital ocean droplet with a free SSL certificate. Now, this is a legit SSL certificate, it's from Let's Encrypt. And by the end of this video, you're going to not only have a working website, but you're also going to have that website running on the HTTPS protocol so that all traffic coming into the website and going out of the website is secure and encrypted. So if that's something that you're interested in, let's get on into the video tutorial. Okay, so let's, um, right here in my DigitalOcean dashboard, let's go ahead and create a new DigitalOcean droplet. And that's just a fancy, you know, uh, proprietary term that DigitalOcean created for a virtual private server. Uh, let's see, let's go into the marketplace and I want to choose a, a website like WordPress to install because that's something that's easy to demonstrate um, quickly about how to work with like uh, an SSL certificate. So do they have WordPress? They do have WordPress and we're going to pick that one and that looks good. So let's create a WordPress droplet. It's going to be created with an Apache web server. So we'll go ahead and do that and let's see what happens. Okay, so let's pick a plan. We want the basic plan, cheapest one just for demonstration purposes, which is really gigabyte of RAM, 25 gigabytes SSD, and one about a terabyte of transfer. Um, we can pick a location for our data center. I'll pick San Francisco. I think that one's the closest to me right now physically. And uh, da, 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 coming down here, you, if, if you don't have your SSH key set up, uh, you want to pick password here. And just one droplet is good. All right, everything looks good. So let's create this droplet. And you know, this will take a minute or two. What we're what we want to see here is an IP address. Okay, so every website, every server has an IP address that's public facing, and we want to get that IP address and associate it with our domain name. Okay, so our domain name. Um, let's click on here, see if we got it yet. Oh, we do. So here's our IP address. We want to take this IP address and go to where we bought our domain name from and associate that domain name with this IP address. So that time, that way, any, anybody who goes to your website goes directly to this server. So that's how that works. It's called DNS domain name servers. So, um, here is where I bought my domain name from site4.xyz is what we're going to be using. I bought it from Namecheap and I want to go into its settings, specifically the DNS settings. And I want to create a couple a records for it. An a record is simply a mapping of your domain name to the IP address. So, um, here I have some old information in here that I'll replace with the IP address of our new digital ocean droplet. So there is two of these a records. One is just for site4.xyz and this other one down here is for www.site4.xyz okay so go ahead and save those changes that way it gives um, the dns servers time to propagate and now we'll go back over here and it looks like it is up and running so what we want to do next is to log into our server our droplet via ssh so open up a terminal window and type in ssh root at that IP address. And you can uh, go ahead and say yes. You can do the same exact thing that we're doing on Windows uh, with PuTTY, okay? So we are on our DigitalOcean droplet. It's asking us for a domain name. I'll type in site4.xyz and my email address, tony at tonyteaches.tech. And this is something um, uh, that DigitalOcean has created as far as, I think this is for setting up your WordPress website. So I'll do username, admin, password. Let's see if they, let me do that. Yep, blog title, Tony's site. Yes, that looks good. Uh, very good, so this has built in, would you like to use Let's Encrypt Certbot to configure SSH, or <laughs> configure SSL for this domain name? Yes, I do. And um, this is asking us now, what email address do you want your SSL certificate to be associated with? You can use the same email address or something different. I'll pick Tony Teaches Tech email address. And now we're going through the, um, the, the Let's Encrypt installer. It's specifically CertBot that uses, uh, or that CertBot is a software that issues Let's Encrypt SSL certificates. So um, do you agree with our terms and service? Yes, I do. 
Uh, do you want to share your email with them for other purposes? No, I don't. And uh, because that information that we just entered as far as our domain name, um, it's reading a configuration file for the Apache web server. And it is asking us if we want to activate uh, a HTTPS for both of these domain names. And we do. So we can go ahead and hit enter for both of them. And now it is verifying that we own that domain name. And when that's finished, there's just one more step to this process. And that is just going to ask us if we want to redirect all of our HTTP traffic to the HTTPS version of our website. So that way you just have everybody go into the secure version of your website. We want that. So let's click on two for redirect, not click on type in two for redirect and hit enter. And we are good to go almost. It's doing some extra setup. There we go. Now we're good to go. Let's check it out. Let's go to our web browser here. Let's go to site4.xyz and bam, there we go. We have a working WordPress website. We have the lock icon up here and let's just take a look at the certificate. It is issued by Let's Encrypt like we set out to do from the beginning of this video. It is good until November 18th. So um, you'll have to come back in here in three months uh, I believe so, and update this SSL certificate manually. If you want to learn how to do that um, in an automated fashion, check out this video that I have either on the screen or down in the description below for information on how to do that. So guys, if you have any questions about this information that we covered today, SSL certificates, DigitalOcean droplets, WordPress websites, let me know in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to help you out. And please just give this video a thumbs up if you got some value out of it. If you want to see more videos like this, consider subscribing. And if you do, I'll see you in the next one.